Hi, this is Janice Sullivan from Sullivan J Photography, and today I'm going to be showing you how to add keywords to the images in front of you. Now you see over here to the right, there is no keywords, and uh, one of the things that we all uh, like to do is photograph. And we don't want to be sitting in front of a computer typing in all these keywords. So um, this is a wonderful plugin that I use and I highly recommend it and I figured I'd show it to you really quick. So um, we'll go ahead and uh, go to this image and uh, once I add the plugin I'll go to library go to plugin extras the plugin is called keyword master I'll show you that in a bit and then you um, click on gather keywords what you want to do is go ahead and type in keywords that match the image so it is a daisy it's a macro it's orange and um, I think that's good for now just to show it to you. So let's go ahead and go to open web pages right here to the right. And it's pulling up a bunch of sites that I have already, well, it's already in the plugin. I'll show it to you right now. You can add more sites if you want or delete these sites. But here are the nine defined sites that it starts with. Um, all in here and then here if you have a site that you prefer and you want to gather keywords from that site you can go ahead and add in your keywords so um, and then as it's um, looking here it just went ahead and looked for those different keywords but I'm going to go ahead and show you the plugin site and I'm going to type in key there's Keyword Master right there at the top. So this way you can see the site. So um, to download this plugin, go to www.photographers-toolbox.com. And once you're here, you can go ahead and download for free if you'd like to try it out. And I highly recommend it. Um, it's only thirty-two dollars and twenty-nine cents. Uh, it's it's well worth the money. I'm not positive if Lightroom Four is compatible yet. I haven't done any research. I'm not using Lightroom Four yet. Okay, so here's some images that are close. So um, this one's kind of orangish. It's a macro. It's close up. So you click on the images that look similar. Down here are the keywords and go ahead and highlight them then you're going to do a copy you're going to go back into the plugin and you're going to paste and then what we're going to do is um, that's nice but go ahead and look through it and see if there's anything that I don't have a stamen so see if there's anything in here that doesn't match and if there is get rid of it. It's that easy. And I want a little bit more keywording. So let's see what's out there. Um, let's see, there's a bunch. Uh, there's actually the image right there. <laughs> but we won't use my image. Uh, is there any more orange? Let's go ahead. Let's check out this one. and see what kind of keywording's in there. Now, I'm not gonna, right here, you know what? This person didn't really do the keywords in front. I'm not gonna deal with it because I know there's plenty of keywords here that I can um, pull from. So st sometimes things like that happen, no big deal, but you'll get to know what areas you wanna go to. Here's another image from Getty that's you know kind of similar. So here down below, here are the keywords, and I will highlight them and copy. Go back to my Lightroom program, go down to the bottom, and paste. So I think that you're getting the hint, um, or you can see what the program is doing. You know, you go in again, 
you know, and check in the different areas. Now, once you have found the keywords from the different sites that you like, and you have all the stuff here in this little box area, click on this area to the bottom right and gather up all of the words. And it's great because what it does is gets rid of double, like if there was two blossoms, it gets rid of that, it goes ahead and puts in the commas. Um, you can also use a hierarchy um, for SEO if you want. You can play with that. But once I've gathered everything up, I go ahead and hit the apply keywords down below here and automatically to the right, boom, it's there. How fast is that? It's awesome. And if you want to add it to other images, now I've already synced these two up, but let's just show you real quick. So here's this image and I want to sync that image up, um, this one right here. All you do is go to the bottom. You know where the keywords are here. You go ahead and go to sync and um, click on, see how it's already clicked? But you click on this area and then this is just what I've just pulled from the plugin that we used. And then you click synchronize and boom. They both have the same keywords. So it's, it's a perfect, fast plugin that you can use to um, make this quickly uh, and fast so you don't have to, you can sit there and play with your images. Now, um, just real quick, once you download it, you go to your plugin manager, which is File Plugin Manager and you go ahead and you'll add a plugin, find it, and go ahead and put it into your Lightroom program. So uh, that's it. It's done, and we're ready to go on and photograph some more macro shots. Okay, thanks so much. And if you would like more tips and lessons, go to blog.sullivanjphotography.com and definitely leave comments and suggestions. I love to talk with uh, other photographers or anybody that's interested in photography. Okay, have a great day.